Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the beam deflection formulas. So in this lecture, I'm going to show you the beam types and the different conditions of the loading on these types of the beam. And I will also mention the deflection formulas for these different types of the beam. In which I will show you the maximum deflection formulas that can be used to find the deflection of these types of the beam and these types of the loading conditions. So the first one is the beam type of the cantilever beam and having concentrated load represented by P at the end of the beam. So let's consider the length of this beam is represented by L. The total length is L. So it will deflect the maximum here at the end, right? So at the end it will show the maximum deflection which is represented by delta maximum here and the maximum deflection of this cantilever beam having this uh, concentrated load at the end will be equal to the delta maxi maximum will be equal to the p l q divided by e i where p is the load here this one l is the length of this beam e i e is the uh, we can say the elasticity of this steel used here in this beam and i is the moment of inertia of this beam. So putting all this value, we will get the required, uh, we will get the maximum deflection of this beam. The second type of the beam having the uniformly distributed load represented by W and having length of this beam L, right? So when this loading condition, cantilever beam will deflect in this way, in this case the maximum deflection will be different because here we have uniformly distributed load. So the maximum deflection in this case will be equal to the W L power 4 dividing by 8 E I where W is only P is only changed to W where W is uniformly distributed load. The per meter load or the per inches or per feet load where L is the length of this beam, 8 is the constant, E I is the elasticity and I is the moment of inertia. The third type of the beam is also cantilever beam but it have the load of P at any distance. For example, if you A from here and B from here. So it will also deflect in the similar way, but it will show maximum deflection here at this point, but it will be now different from that at the end because the load here was applied at the end, and at this point we applied the load at the, any other distance. So in this case, the maximum deflection here at the end will be equal to the P A square dividing by 6 E I into L 3 L minus A. So this formula is now used to find the uh, maximum deflection of this beam having the load at different distance from the left end and from the right end. Right? So now the fourth type of the beam here is the simply supported beam having the concentrated load P X at the center of this beam. If this beam having length of L, so it will act at L by 2, the center of the beam. So it will deflect at, at midpoint because it will show here the maximum delta. Delta maximum will be shown at the mid of this beam. And delta maximum in this case can be found out by this formula P L cube dividing by 48 E I. So putting the value of P, the concentrated load acting at the center of the beam, L is the length of the beam, 48 is a constant, in E I is the geometric properties. Putting all these values in this formula, we will get the deflection, the maximum deflection of this type of the beam. The last beam is a simply supported beam but with the, but with the uniformly distributed load represented by W and it will also show the maximum deflection at the center of this beam. And this maximum deflection can be found out, delta maximum can be found out by this formula 5WL power 4 dividing it by 384 into EI. L power 4, right? This is the power 4. So, this formula is used to find out the deflection of this beam at the center. 